Salaries alone don't mean anything in the United States of America. Salaries alone don't mean anything in the United States of America. You have to take into account where you live in the United States of America and your expenses in the United States of America, okay? And living in certain cities or certain regions will mean if you make $100,000 or let's say $200,000 a year, that's not crap, okay? So let's say, <laughs> and I mean that wholeheartedly, like let's say you decide to live in one of the biggest, most expensive cities or whatever, right? Let's say I'm just gonna say New York City, right? Um, certain places, certain places there, right? A room, a a a room in some in someone's house may cost you two thousand dollars, like a studio apartment, two thousand dollars a month. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. It's like you can you can you can come here and let's say your salary. You could say, oh my gosh, I'm going to be making like $200,000 a year. Let's say, you know, okay, where where do you live? Then that, that'll, <laughs> where do you live making that $200,000 a year? Okay. So it's for instance, and I'm going to flip it on the, like if you live in the South, right? Um, You can make less and have more. Um, in the South, if that makes sense. Okay. So running around talking about salaries, the, the salaries are fine and your income is fine, but where you live is also a determining factor on what you really earn. If you understand what I'm saying, <laughs> like I met someone who, who used to live in California she chose to move to um, the southern region of the United States of America. Why? And she she's going to stay here. Why? Her main reason was the cost of living. And she has more. She has more. Um, though she makes less money than she would make in California, she's able to have more with less income. So... She prefers less income so that she can have more with the income that she has. Make sense? Like there are some homes, for instance, a four or five bedroom home the size of some in the South will cost nearly freaking a million dollars in California. That's what she told me anyways. And you can look that up yourself or whatever, right? Um, sometimes that's up North too. Like, uh, a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollar home here would be like six hundred, seven hundred thousand dollars up there. You know, I live in the south, but so so salary. When you say, well, you know, it it all depends on where you live. So you can't look at even with stats and stuff. If if you're just now coming into the United States, or you don't really, or you're in the United States and never really thought of it that way, or whatever, to say, well, one person is doing good based off salary, and the other person isn't doing good based off salary. That's that no, that's that's not true. One person just earns this; another person just earns this. Okay. The person who is make earning less, depending on where they live, may be balling. The one who is making more may be struggling. Depends on how where they live. Salary, you can't tell a lot by salary in the United States of America. Not salary alone. Hopefully that makes sense. Also, you can't, let me just add to that. Also, job title. Um, <laughs> you can't, you can't, there are, <laughs> there are some, job titles can't, don't tell you everything in the United States of America either. So, just because, like, I, honestly, there, there are, there are jobs that a lot of people frown on that they're actually making more than you. In your suit and tie. 
So there are some people who earn an awesome amount of money. And they don't have a great job title at all. You know, one of those fancy job titles, you know. There are some people who... There, there are some cashiers who make twenty some dollars an hour. And then there are some people who work in office buildings who make less than that. So it just all depends. It just all depends. Like your job title and salary. You, you, in the United States, everything is different. And I've had this conversation before with someone who lived out, who never moved, who never lived in the United States of America. Um, and they were like, why, why would somebody want to do that for a living? Why would somebody want to do that for a living? The reason they didn't know is because they didn't realize how much money it paid. It just seemed like some kind of random thing to do. And it, in where they're from, it, could be frowned upon because it's not the title but in all actuality the the job paid just as much as that titled um position so yeah things are things are a little bit different in the united states of america you can't i make this much money okay your expenses are (laughs) <laughs> because sometimes because sometimes the reason why your salary is what it is is because the expenses where you live are so high so that's the reason um so you're really not bringing it home you're giving it out to survive you know um and some people who live in different areas they can have a lesser salary and have more. So you can't really tell how anybody is living or what somebody's life is like based on salary alone. You can't do that. For instance, South Carolina has the highest black American homeownership rate in the nation. South Carolina does not pay the highest salaries. But some of the homes, many of the homes in South Carolina are huge. Owned by black people. Many. <laughs> okay. Um, and yet... Some people who may live in the North or in California or wherever, they would have to earn way, 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 way more just to have that. That's it. So you can't, you just, the the game is different. You got to look at the game different when you come to the United States of America. 